G'day, I'm Gary Pye. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stop your characters from sliding across the screen in the middle of a walk cycle. In other words, how to apply a pre-made motion of a walk cycle and have it time correctly with the distance that your character travels so that their feet touch the floor at the correct moments and they don't slide across the floor unnecessarily. So let's jump across to Cartoon Animator and I will show you. Okay, so in Cartoon Animator, I have Clang loaded to screen. And all we need to do is to go into Motions. And for this example, I'm going to use the, uh, the, human, the Cartoon Motions number one, which is my favorite pack. All we need to do, make sure that you've got your, let's get rid of that. Make sure that you've got your Transform track open and your motion track open. The transform track moves the entire character. The motion track applies the individual motions. So grab one of your motions here. This is the start motion with the S. Grab one of your motions here, drag it onto the character. And as you can see, the motion is applied to the timeline and we move forward. This is the loop, the middle section for the walk. Select it. You can add it again and it will seamlessly join in the middle. Or the other thing you can do is to grab the end of the section of the motion and pull it forward and that will also extend it. Then when we scroll forward and we apply the E motion, which is the end motion for the double bounce, apply that. Now there's our character. Now at the moment he's going to be standing still when we play the video. So he's just walking on the spot which is fine, so it looks like the camera's tracking him. But if you want the character to move from point A to point B, then this is where we need to go to the transform track. So if you select your transform track, it highlights the character. At frame one, your character stands here. What we want him to do is when he walks along, when he gets to the end of his walk cycle, we want him to actually move. Now, for the sake of this, we'll put him there and see what he looks like. You'll see that it's automatically added a little keyframe. So the entire character moves from that point to that point over 143 frames. So if we've just applied it, let's see what happens. As you can see, his feet, if you watch this area here, his feet, they're, they're not really gripping the floor properly. He's, he's It's like he's walking in mud. They're not really walking properly. That's because he's not covering enough distance. Okay. So as you can see, it's, it's almost like he's walking on a conveyor belt, but that's easy fixed. If at this keyframe here, we just change the distance that he travels. If we make him travel that far, when we go back to the beginning, have a look. Now his feet are starting to stay on the floor a little better. Not perfect, but a little better. Let's zoom out so that we can actually see the character as he's walking along. Let's go back to here and we will extend the distance a little bit further. You can even on the first frame, on the first keyframe, we can even pull him back that way. You're still moving only from point A to point B. So let's see what happens now. Okay, see now his feet are sticking to the floor the way they should. That's good news. But you'll notice at the very beginning, there's a slide. Watch, slide. We don't want the slide. So what we do is we work out when he actually steps, starts to step forward, right? When he actually starts to step forward. And then what we can do is to put in a keyframe there, okay? Now, if you take this first keyframe, right click, copy it, and copy it to that, or paste it to there. That means that between these two clips, he won't change position, but then he'll start to move to this point here. So let's see what happens now. See? Now, your character looks like he's actually sticking to the floor as he walks. So that's all you need to do. Just change the distance between point A and point B that he actually travels and you won't get that 
horrible sliding motion. And eventually when you start to keyframe and add motions and get the full character animating, this is the type of animation that you can produce. So that's it. Nice and easy tutorial for you. If you've got any questions, you know what to do. Ask down below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.